The 80s preamp is designed to emulate the signature transformerless preamps with extended dynamic range and punch of the classic 80s preamps and consoles. This module is ideal for adding a lively vintage sound with controlled peaks, or, at more extreme settings, adding a sense of energy to your mix. The auto button enables automated gain adjustment mode. When active, the automatic gain mode uses the reference level set by the reference knob as a threshold for when to apply gain. If the signal level is above the reference level, the gain is automatically reduced. The gain knob adjusts the input gain from minus 30 to plus 30 dB when not in automatic mode. The LED bar meter indicates the signal level after you've adjusted the gain. The up and down switch determines how the gain knob reacts to the reference knob when in automatic mode. In up-down mode, the gain is allowed to increase and decrease in value, whereas in down mode, the gain can only decrease in value. This control is also affected by the RMS and peak setting. The RMS or peak switch determines if the automatic gain mode uses RMS levels or peak levels when detecting gain levels. When set to RMS, automatic gain mode applies a 12 dB level offset. The reference knob sets the reference level for automated gain control mode between minus 30 and 0 dB. The left and right polarity switches switch the polarity of the left, right, or both channels. When one or more of the buttons are engaged, the polarity for that channel, or both channels, is negative. In mono instances, only a single button and the polarity sign appears. The drive knob adjusts the gain for the 80s flavored analog console emulation between minus 30 and plus 30 dB. The higher the drive setting, the more analog saturation is added to the source signal. The noise mode switch determines the operating mode of the noise emulation. On turns on the noise emulation, auto automatically sets the level of the noise emulation based on the source signal, and off turns off the noise emulation. The noise knob allows you to adjust the level of the analog hiss emulation between minus 120 dB and minus 60 dB. The analog button allows you to activate the analog drive and noise emulations, or bypass them. For more information on PSP and Finistrip, you can head over to PSPAudioWare.com.